Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, April the 6th, and please join me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me, bless God's holy name. Alleluia. Psalm 103, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me, bless God's holy name. Bless the Most High, my soul, and do not forget God's blessings, who forgives all my iniquities, who heals all my diseases, who redeems my life from destruction, who crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies my hunger with good things, so that my youth is renewed like the eagles. You, my God, execute righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. You made known your ways to Moses, your acts to the children of Israel. You are loving and gracious, slow to anger and full of mercy. You will not always chide, nor will you be angry forever. You have not dealt with us as we deserve nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens is high above the earth, so great is your mercy toward those that fear you. As far as the east is from the west, so far have you removed our transgressions from us. Like parents who take pity upon their children, so you love them that fear you. For you know of what we are made, and remember that we are dust. As for the children of the earth, their days are like the grass, as the flowers of the field, so they flourish. Then the wind passes over, and they are gone, and that place shall know them no more. But your mercy is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear you, and your righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep your covenant, and to those that remember to do your commandments. You have prepared your throne in the heavens, and your kingdom rules over all. Bless the Most High, you angels, that excel in strength, that do God's commandments, listening to God's word. Bless the Most High, all God's hosts, you ministers of God, that do God's pleasure. Bless the Most High, all God's works, in all places of God's dominion. Bless the Most High, my soul. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Alleluia. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 30 beginning at verse 18. God's promise to Zion. Therefore the Most High waits to be gracious to you. Therefore he will rise to show mercy to you. For Yahweh is a God of justice. Blessed are all those who wait for him. Truly, O people in Zion, inhabitants of Jerusalem, you shall weep no more. He will surely be gracious to you. At the sound of your cry, when he hears it, he will answer you. And though the Lord may give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet your teacher will not hide himself any more. But your eyes shall see your teacher, and when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left, your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church of the world, for the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, for Brother Joe, our community servant, and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity of the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, 
for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Joe, our president, and for Doug, our governor, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For those who've died, especially Charles, for the sick and the suffering and the dying, especially Carol and Bill and Ron, for the victims of terror and violence, and for all the victims of COVID-19. For the mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother William, Brother Max, Brother William, and for all the mercy of God associates. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. We remember your mighty acts, O tender God, for you redeem us and renew us, and crown us with your loving kindness and mercy. Grant that we may ever bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, and happy Easter.